at some point or another, you've likely asked yourself, Monster Bass Box, is it worth it? Now, I'm gonna kinda cut to the chase a little bit. Spoiler alert, this video is sponsored by Monster Bass. I'm clearly wearing a Monster Bass shirt. So the answer is yes, but actions speak louder than words and talk is cheap. So rather than just saying yes, I wanna prove it to you. I wanna show you some of the baits and lures that I've received this past year in 2020 in my Monster Bass Regional Pro Box that I've never used before. I've never seen the baits, never purchased the baits, I've never used the baits, and I went out and caught some phenomenal fish in 2020 from baits that I've never used before, and I likely would have never used from the Monster Bass box. Now, what I, what I believe what is, makes Monster Bass unique is that some of the baits are likely brands you've heard of, some big name brands, but you've maybe never used this particular color, or this particular type of or style of lure that's being brought to you in your box. But along with that, Monster Bass does a great job of finding unique local brands, local companies, local lures, and putting them in the box as well. Now, local, it just means that it's uh, probably a smaller business somewhere in the United States, but they've been pretty phenomenal. And so I'm gonna present to you my top five list of lures in 2020 that I had never used before, received on Monster Bass Regional Pro Box, and went out and slayed some big fish. Some of them are gonna be brands you've heard of before and likely lures you've used. I had never used them, but I think the top two may surprise you because they're probably companies and brands and lures you've never heard of, or at least not until recently. So let's dive in and talk about why Monster Bass Box is worth it. All right, so coming in at number five, all right, we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way to the top. Number five is a company that you absolutely know of if you've even remotely fished a day of in your life. is Strike King and the lure is the Red Eye Shad. I'll show it to you here. What makes this lure unique though is the contour body, right? You see the bottom, you see the top. So this is a lipless crank, but because of the way it's designed here on the bottom, it not only allows great action as you're retrieving, but when you pause or yo-yo the bait and it falls, some lipless crankbaits don't have that type of contour and they're just gonna fall straight. However, the Red Eye Shed by Strike King shimmies on the fall down and on the and on the rise back up on the retrieve. It's a phenomenal bait. I've actually caught a 4.7 pounder just recently in the month of December. Cold water, really, really not a great day, but went out and caught a great fish from a lure that I've never used before. Now I've used lipless cranks, but I probably had never gone out and purchased or would have gone out and purchased a Red Eye Shad by Strike King, but thank you Monster Bass. I've got one and word on the street is there's another one coming in this month's box in January. So make sure you subscribe, but let's dive in to number four. All right, next on our list is again, a company you've probably heard of before, Big Bite Baits, but maybe an, a, a swim bait or a pathos swim bait you haven't ever used before, and that is the Finesse Swimmer. Comes in both a 3.3 size and a 4.3. I'm holding the 4.3 in gill color. And I'll tell you, paddle tail swim baits are nothing new to me. And in fact, I've used paddle tail swim baits from Big Bite Baits before in the Cane Thumper, but I've not used the Finesse Swimmer. Probably not a bait or a lure that I would have ever purchased on my own, but I'll tell you what I've come to learn about this particular bait. First of all, works great on the back of a swim jig, works great also on an EWG screw lock hook. It's, a, it's an awesome profile. Again, this is a 4.4 inch version in the gill color. Tennessee Shad is another great color, so I've gone out and purchased now a couple different colors of this paddle tail swim bait. I've only used the 4.4 size, but I've caught some great, great fish with this paddle tail swim bait. I've mentioned before that I use paddle tail swim baits a lot. What I've come to learn though is that some paddle tail swim baits have a tight wobble in action, some have a medium, and some have a really wide wobble. This one's probably more in that medium range and in a size, quite honestly, that I normally hadn't used. I usually use a 3.5 inch, a four inch, or a 5.5 inch, and I'll get to those here in a minute. Uh, but this is a 4.4 inch that I've used and I absolutely love it. And I've caught some great fish in 2020, again, on a bait and a lure that I never used and likely would not have gone out and purchased on my own. Let's talk about number three. All right, number three is going back to another big brand, another big company. We're gonna stick with Strike King and we're gonna go with the Thunder Cricket. This is a relatively new bladed jig that came out not too long ago. Um, and I've gone out now and purchased multiple colors. So here's like a black and blue. Here is a green pumpkin. 
Both of them I throw with a four inch paddle tail swim bait. Again, I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, but I'll tell you, the, the Thunder Cricket, I love it. I, I think the way it's, it's built, the shape of the head, the way it's priced is an incredible lure. I had never owned one, I never tried one. I'd always used a chatterbait or some other style of bladed jig, um, but I've caught some phenomenal fish this year with the Thunder Cricket. One particular day had caught a four and a half and a five and a half pounder uh, all in one day, throwing the Thunder Cricket. I love this presentation now. I have multiple of these, probably at least five or six, and I'll continue to order more because the price point's great, the action's great, and the lure itself is a phenomenal bladed jig. So check out the Thunder Cricket. And again, came in my Monster Bass box, had never used it before, and have fallen in love with this lure. Thank you, Monster Bass. All right, the next two, we're gonna change up speeds. Instead of going with companies you've likely heard before, we're gonna go with some of those companies. The Monster Bass finds, puts in the box that sometimes you may overlook or think, eh, I've never heard of this company before. Probably, you know, may or may not be something I'm gonna like. I almost, almost gave away, literally, almost gave away this next lure. And man, am I glad I didn't because it has now become a staple in my tackle box. I've actually removed every other product in this category except for this one because I love it that much. And it is the Popper Frog by Blitz Lures. A couple of things I love about it is this contour right here in the body. It, if you think about a fish coming and biting it, they're biting up down the ridge. I said up down. They're biting over this ridge down the body and they create a, a force of that plastic, which is it's extremely soft. I've actually yet to find a frog that is as soft as this with the hooks that come with this, the way they're angled to point up, the pop lip, the keeled body, the softness. I don't have to cut the legs. They're, they're, they're perfect as they are. I absolutely love this frog. My frog fishing confidence in 2020 skyrocketed and it started in April when this came in the April box. Again, I almost gave it away, but I love it so much. I've now gone out, <clears throat> I've now gone out and purchased two more colors. So this is a Black Widow, this is the Margarita color, and have caught great fish on these. The Margarita color really shines, both of these actually shine in dirtier water, and the, uh, the white shines really well in clearer water or when bass are feeding up and chasing shad. But this frog, I'm telling you, <laughs> take my word for it guys, go look for Blitz Lures on Tackle Warehouse or go look for Blitz Lures actually on their site, blitzlures.com. But the Blitz Lure Popper Frog is one that you will always see me and have, uh, excuse me, you will see me have tied on the deck of my boat on my frogging setup. It is that good. Try it. You're gonna take your frog fishing game to a whole new level. Never ever even heard of this company, nor have I would or would I have used it had it not been for my Monster Bass Regional Pro Box. An incredible frog. All right, the last one on the list and coming in at number one and for a very good reason, this particular brand of baits, I had never heard of before. Until about a year ago, I had never heard of this brand of baits. I'd never used them before. I, I received one of their baits, a plastic, in a box in late 2019. They said that it stood up in the water, it floated, and I didn't I thought I didn't believe it, but I wanted to see it with my own eyes. So I took it, dropped it underwater, and sure enough, the bait stood up. And I was highly impressed with the action. So much so that I went out and got as many of their baits that I could. And that is with egg zone lures. And what I'm holding is the deception worm, kind of a shaky head worm. I'm also holding the blitz worm, an 11 inch, 11 inch floating, floating 11 inch worm, along with the swammer. That's the four inch version, which you just saw on the back of my bladed jigs. I, I, I could spend a, a whole 30, 40 minutes talking about, uh, talking about the Blitz Worm, talking about the Deception Worm, the Slammer, every other bait that Eggzone offers. They're incredible, an incredible company, an incredible product they're putting out, very unique in terms of the action, an 11 inch floating worm. I'm telling you guys, I've caught some massive monster fish with all of these baits, with the Slammer, all of them. They're, they're incredible. And I had never heard of them before until they came in my Monster Bass Regional Pro Box. And word on the street is, starting in April, 
Monster Bass and Egg Zone are teaming up together to exclusively bring you more Egg Zone lures in your Monster Bass box. So I'm telling you, with all these baits, all these lures, if you are not currently subscribed to Monster Bass, the better box, you need to be. All right, hopefully I've shown you the reasons why. I've shown you the fish I've caught. I've shown you some incredible baits and lures that I've never fished before that you may or may not have heard of, but I promise you, you're getting incredible baits. The, the beautiful thing about regional pro box with Monster Bass is it's designed for your region, your time of year, the type of baits you may use, the colors you may use that would work, and even the depths. I mean, they even go as far as the depth. So for example, if you're in Florida, let's say Lake Okeechobee, it's only eight, 10, 12 feet deep in some areas, you're not gonna get a deep diving crankbait in Florida. You're gonna get a shallower diving crankbait. You may get a deeper diving crankbait somewhere else where you have deeper water, but you're not gonna get the same baits in every single region. They're designed for you, which makes it worth it. The value's incredible. I highly recommend Monster Bass, so make sure you go subscribe. You can hit the link below. You can go to monsterbass.com, check it out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed, and we'd love to see you join the Monster Bass team. With that, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop a comment below as well if you've caught great fish in 2020 with your Monster Bass lures. I know I have, and I can't wait for the January box that's coming. It's gonna be loaded with Strike King baits along with Bio baits, and I know for a fact I'm gonna go out and have great success this year again with Monster Bass. So thank you, Monster Bass. Thank you for watching this video, subscribing and liking. And if nobody's so today, God loves you, and so do I. Peace out.